Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where I think it is time to unlock crew capsules in this career and we will send that crew capsule or crew spacecraft to wherever they want it sent. So here we will have a space capsule. Okay, and we will unlock it with our tech points. Oh, a little bit of a delay there. I, maybe management board is a good thing because it has new contracts. It also gives us more contracts offered. Uh, we have the tech points for that. Uh, another thing that has more contracts uh, that we can unlock is this one, but this one is probably more focused on airplanes and we're uh, taking a breather on that still right now. So, but I'm wondering whether this is going to end up being contracts for satellite constellations uh, because uh, that I think is sort of this line maybe. But the space travel here, that's a Patriot capsule and there's one of those. But no, no extra contracts there, and a space hab there. Maybe, let me just uh, take this first, and let's see what kind of contracts we have. And then we'll think about it if we don't have anything suitable. So... Well, I haven't been to Sergeia, have I? I don't think so. 900 days. Okay, here we are focused on our little pod on Handrew's Comet, and we will see where Sergeia is right now. Uh, well, this little pod is impacting Handrew's Comet repeatedly, but that's alright. Where Sergeia is with respect to... Oh, we've uh, traveled 10 meters on Handrew's Comet. Nice. <laughs> I guess it'll continue like that. So Sergeia is there, and so it's the Venus equivalent. Um, that's closer than I'd like it to be. I'd like it to be further behind Drew, but I think it's manageable. So I think we can pick up the contract, and actually 900 days is a lot to get to an inner planet. I don't know why they're giving us so much time for the inner planets when we get less time for the outer planets, but yeah, 900 days will be fine for... We could uh, wait a whole orbit and we would still be able to get to Sergei like that, so... Alright, I think that'll do. So, we'll end flight. We will save flight. It has gotten extra tech points without us intending it to. Okay, so we will try and send a crew pod to Sergei. I don't know if Sergei is how you should pronounce that, but anyway. Um, Circularish orbit. Fine. Alright, and we're trying to do it, let's say, under the signing bonus. We'll try and make it cheap. Oops, build. This Titan rocket might not be too bad. Okay, I've put a space capsule here, and I'm going to declare it to be set primary. Heat shield. I guess. I guess we wanted to bring it back. 707,000 and it's 2.22 tons. Let's just see how it goes on top of this. When it says gyroscope power, well it's got some battery here, so I guess that's just built in and not tweakable. All right, we'll uh, reduce the gyroscope so that we don't have a gyroscope for our previous rules. All right, now it's on there. It's probably not giving us what we want. But then again, it's not reading the core delta V right right now. This stage is going to do a lot of work. And it has a ridiculous amount of thrust weight ratio. <laughs> uh, I don't know why we need that much. Is it telling the truth about that? Well, because previously we were lifting a much heavier payload. Maybe we should have a, another stage up here. Pressure fed Carolox. I guess that would be more legitimate than trying anything else. So we could, we're going closer to the sun. We could pick up some electric charge like that. Do we have nice solar panels that extend? We still have only surface mount solar panels, I think. Well, I guess if all I can get is six-way symmetry, I'll keep it simple like that. But the solar panels can break off, right? Um, 
Maybe we should tuck it all into a fairing. Well, it's not super ideal, but I guess we can just put the RCS... Oops, I wanted those there. Let's put the RCS ports like that. And that'll work out too. For roll. It's not great for roll, but it'll be okay for roll, I think. Maybe. Okay. Well, that's that part. Oh, on the pod itself, we won't have any way to orient, I don't think, without a gyro. You know what? Maybe we should just put a gyro, because otherwise I'm going to have to figure out how to put mod propellant on there. We could have a small mod propellant tank on the top, though. But then it'll probably accidentally drain before I want it to. Alright, uh... I will concede a tiny bit of gyroness on the pod for the first time, at least. We'll have 20% gyroness. So we'll turn that down a bit. Maybe gas generator 2 is overdoing it, but that should be enough. Okay, well, this is our rocket. Cost 16 million, so that's not much. And we'll see if we can get to Segeya with it. It's not the most optimal thing, but it has the benefit of looking like a titan, sort of. So we'll go with that. I guess alley pad will do. Okay, well, uh, Sergeia orbit is what we want. Oh, making orbit though might cost more. I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see. I want a daytime launch though. It's possible we can do two tries within the time that they gave us. Stabilization, RCS off, and... Alright, well we have plenty of thrust weight ratio, we should be able to turn. There's that airbase. We'll get back there someday. Oh, we're sideways, whoops. Rolling. Okay, core ignition. Okay, booster set. Oh, that is not the staging I wanted. No. What happened to the decouplers? Whoops. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take the cost. Yeah. Um, uh, safe flight. My mistake. Interstages. Ah, put the side interstages there. Good thing this is an undrewed test. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, stabilization on. And go. And this time we will do a roll program first. Oh, no, 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 uh, hear me. I said roll program first. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I guess we're starting to pitch program early. Okay, and then roll program. Here we go again. I can actually throttle these. Maybe I should. We don't need that much right now. I should have painted the parachute to match everything. Having it be blue is sort of weird. Oh, engines. Booster set this time? Alright. Okay, that's that stage done. Separation. Oh, I didn't really need the fairings there separated, but okay. I guess it's sort of like Artemis. You know, though, we might have wanted RCS sports on this stage, too. I think we can coast right now. Okay, we've got a periapsis. Oh, that's promising. Okay. Well, that might be too late. Still pretty late out there. We want to meet up with it over there. Maybe we should just take it. I mean, we're a little bit off time anyway. It'll take more to capture into orbit though. But uh, at least we've got an encounter there. It says 1.32 kilometers per second on the approach info. 
Yeah, we'll take that for now. It's not ideal. We'll probably be going faster than I need to be. But this stage has 1.96, and we should have enough to capture into orbit after it. But we won't have enough to bring the pod back, so... Probably good that it's apparently uncrewed. Anyway, we'll do what the mission parameter said. It didn't say anything about bringing them back, or bringing the pod back. Okay, so we are using the gyroness of the pod right now. Though it's a little bit wobbly because it's a very weak gyro. And I suppose we should go. Uh, go. No, yeah, Sergei is rising right there too. Um, a little bit more. I guess that's okay. <laughs> I can do a fraction of a meter per second. Okay, alright, that's close enough. Let's see if it got us our encounter. It seems to. Well, that's pretty impressive right there. Alright, so we have our encounter. We probably want to do some sort of mid-course adjustment in order to get closer. Let's see... Oh, yeah, uh... Sergei is getting us into its gravity well there. Okay, a thousand should be fine. Let me turn off stabilization. I don't want that to change, game. We do need to make orbit and also actually it has to be relatively circular. Low eccentricity. Oh, uh, well, right there is not too bad. Well, that'll be circular. That, that doesn't cost too much. And then maybe we can aim to land the pod at one of these spots. Well, it'll get us tech points, presumably. Okay, well, we have a plan burn. That's the capture burn it's showing there. I want the this plan burn. This is the one that we will do as a mid-course adjustment. So, time warping. Departing Drew. Around we go. Okay, point to node. Ah, we're using gyros, cheating. Oh well. I'm only using a little bit of really bad gyros though, so maybe it's not cheating too much. Okay, that's good enough for me. No, you don't have to do anything right now. Let's make sure Sergeia is... Uh, that close approach info doesn't look great though. I think I'll take 1,200 kilometers since that is probably including the diameter of the planet anyway. Okay, so we'll go over there with that periapsis for now. Or potentially including the diameter of the planet. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Battery's still good. Solar panel taking heat damage. Listen, we need solar panels that are gonna deal with being close to the well, this close to the sun anyway. Okay, Sergeia flyby accomplished. We have discovered Sergeia. And we have to make orbit though. This is not the wrong craft. This is the right craft. Ah, uh, it doesn't count it because we didn't start in Drew's SOI. I, I mm. So we're doing this one for nothing, but at least I'll get the tech points. Got to refresh that thing after the explosion. Oh well. Anyway, tech points. Well, looks Venusy to me. Probably everything is gonna get heat damage once we go into the atmosphere, which we will. Okay, it's actually a 1,213 kilometer per, uh, periapsis without the diameter. Okay. Well, I'll just let it go to retrograde with the RCS, even though that's wasteful. Okay, retro burning. Okay, we actually have an apoapsis now, so we've captured a staging, and this is our little... There we go, we've got Sergei at orbit. Darn it. <laughs> uh, our little service module engine. And we'll bring that down. And we want to contrive to hit one of those little flags. 
if possible. I'm assuming that the atmosphere is going to basically stop us dead in our tracks at a certain point when, when we go into it. We could easily get the required eccentricity, but it's not counting the orbit anyway, so we'll just keep burning down uh, so that we can prepare for an entry. We gotta aim for that flag, potentially, if we can. Well, I don't know exactly where the atmosphere starts, so let's stop there for a sec. I don't have a huge amount of Delta V, 973. Uh, actually try to come in super decisively. I mean, that looks pretty decisive, right? But we should give some lead time. But how much? It's tough to say. But maybe if we come... Well, we're already using 700. We could try to use, like, as much as possible. Well, it will basically be blind, but... Um, we're going to try 800 meters per second and going right like that. It's tough to say how much to lead it with. But we've got 974. We're probably going to have to dump the stage because it's likely to explode. We could have added heat shielding of some kind potentially, but I'm not sure. Okay, ignition. I don't know if this parachute is conducive to Sergeia. So we will try this again. I think we have enough time to try the Sergeia mission again, but we'll try it with a uh, craft that we bring back instead. This one will land. The other one won't. The other one we'll try to bring back to Drew. So I'll do that in the next video. This video will just dedicate to landing on Sergeia and getting tick points. Okay, well... It will go to the surface. Just a matter of where exactly. Okay, I think we'll take that and see how it goes. Right. I think it's safer to dump the service module now, even though we have some mod propellant and all, um, and just go straight with the heat shield. Okay. Uh, well, that's good enough, I suppose. Dumping all that. Eh, it's not really floating off. I should have added some more impulse to that. Oh, it got eliminated. Okay, good times. Okay, and then holding retrograde. Well, we'll find out how where the atmosphere is by seeing when the time warp decreases. Well, that's 10x right there. And it took us out of time warp right there. So... Wow, 320 something kilometers. But we don't know how thick it is up here. We'll see what happens to our impact point. I guess we can go 2x. 250 kilometers and no apparent drag yet. I mean, it's altering our orbit, so there is drag, but not enough to pull that impact point in much. Now I can see it moving. We're at 210 kilometers. And there's sound here. And visual effects. We'll fall short. Distance flying, 100 meters. We've got that going for us. So, yeah, we're short by a substantial distance here. One kilometer. Well, we're gonna get a lot of distance flying around here, I think. Well, maybe not. They'll slow us down enough. 10 kilometers we got. We survived, though, it looks like. It's just gonna take a long time to get to the surface. Oh, uh, well, it looks like our parachute deployed. Probably earlier than I wanted it to. I thought it was an altitude deployment, but it's a pressure deployment. I guess. And so we're gonna be really slow for very long period of time. I thought deployment was just set to uh, altitude here, 12 kilometers. And inflation basically one kilometer. But I guess it's that's the pressure equivalence instead of the actual actual altitudes. So that was confusing. 
Well, yes, we're going to take a very long time to get to the surface. Okay, we are at 26 kilometers, now going at 5 meters per second, still at 2x time warp, unable to do any faster than that. Don't worry, I went off and did something else while this was descending, because it's been a while. But I don't have too much time left here, and now it's at 4 meters per second. So, I'm gonna have to try something drastic, because otherwise this is gonna ultimately take an hour to get to the surface. Oh, I, I right-clicked on... Oh, I accidentally did something drastic. I didn't mean to right-click on it. I meant to left-click on it and repack. Okay, well, I've repacked it. Uh, can we, like, redeploy it? I think I let it go. It's still not descending that fast. I mean, I might not even need it. I mean... Uh, let's see. Activate this part. Maybe I can reactivate it. We'll see. But I don't know if it's necessary or not. We continue to descend now at 49 meters per second. Still gonna take a while, but at least it's not as bad as it was before. Uh, the way it was going, I was afraid it was gonna come to a standstill mid-air. And then we'd have a floating pod. I mean, that could be useful in some cases, but not this one, where we actually want to land. Okay, well... It looks like we're going to impact the surface at something like 30 meters per second. And that's probably too fast. May or may not be. But let me try and activate the part again. Oh, it does redeploy. Now I regret doing that so soon. Uh, okay, repack. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it again. All right. Looks like there's no limit to that. Very edgy surface. Alright, we'll go with it here. Two meters per second with the parachute. Hmm, well that's an evil looking red thing. Is it? It's like an evil hair. An evil rabbit kind of face with, if you go with the ears like that and that's the eyes and... I don't know, a really thin body, I don't know. But, uh, could be lava, could be something else. Doesn't explain the very whitish green landscape, though. Hmm, peculiar. Okay, here we go. Around the edge of this crater. I wonder how that's formed exactly. Okay, well, we've landed. Hey, we might actually travel on land by rolling. Oh, uh, maybe not. Okay, well, we've made a landing. Packed. Okay, well, there's our pod on the surface of Sergeia. And we will try again and hope that we can manage it in 750 days uh, to get into orbit around Sergeia and then to return to Drew. So that'll be our next mission. But we have started with crewed pods. I don't know how to put little Drew things in the pods. I guess I have to figure that out. But, alright, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.